Right, what's going on? Welcome back to another TK421 Collectibles video. Been getting more Batman figures because I love Batman. Uh, not as much as Star Wars, obviously, but so today we've got MMS356 Armored Batman Black Chrome version. Let's check this one out. TK421, why aren't you at your post? Right, let's have a look at this box. I mean, it's an absolutely stunning looking box, actually. This chrome one, Sideshow exclusive. Armored Batman black chrome version. Look at that. And it's got the uh, BVS logo at the bottom. Dawn of Justice. And some info on the back. And then taking the lid off, we get this. Just a list of all the artists involved with it. I do prefer the Star Wars ones where they've got an amazing picture of the figure, usually. And then removing that, we've got the figure in there. Let's get him out, have a look at these accessories. Right, let's have a look at accessories, doesn't come with tons of stuff. Start off with the grapple gun. That looks pretty cool, that. Lots of details on there. Looking amazing, all that. And then we have his grenade gun. And then this looks ace, that comes out like that. Looks really cool, that. A bit like a chrome wash on there, that looks cool. And then we get two grenades, a closed mode and open mode. And then we get five hands, two fists, a weapon holding, point in hand. These look pretty cool, these armoured obviously <laughs> and then there's two kind of kind of relaxed hands on the figure this is probably the most relaxed of the hands and we get an alternate face plate as well with his teeth bared which looks pretty cool so and there's like a standard one on the figure as well and then finally we got this absolutely fantastic base i mean it's fantastically sized batman versus superman armoured batman obviously got the bvs symbol in the middle there and it's got this post that you just screw in the in the top like that Let's have a look at the figure. Give me regular reports, please. Right, so here he is straight out of the box. Absolute beast of a figure. Looks amazing. And the chrome plating on the armour is like obviously the standout feature and it gives it like um, that metallic shine. It really makes it pop this. Let's zoom in a bit. So you can see the details in, in the armour plating, like all the scratches and everything. And the, the weathering, just like, looks fantastic that. Let's have a look at the head sculpt first. So, and there we go. I think the likeness to Ben Affleck on this figure absolutely fantastic. I didn't get the original Armored Batman. I did have the BVS one though, but I always thought they were really good. Even though it's just a faceplate at the bottom, you can see all like the scratches and everything on the on the helmet there. It looks absolutely brilliant. That I love this design as well. I thought it was amazing when I seen it when I first saw it in Batman vs Superman. It just looks fantastic. Uh, and I thought the chrome ver the black chrome version looked even even better. Like kind of like really badass as well and it it is it's it's met my expectations to be honest it's really really impressive I mean, obviously it's quite an old figure but I managed to pick this one up amazingly cheap it's the cheapest hot toy i've ever bought which is weird considering like how fantastic it is and it's in such good condition as well so let's move down the figure obviously you've got all the, the battle damage and weathering on the arm plating and i think the undersuit is basically the obviously the bvs batman again I'm wondering if you, even if you take this armour off, do you actually see the bat sign on his chest? Which I think you might do actually, but I'm, I'm not going to take it off obviously, because that would be crazy. Um, so we've got all the scratches there, utility belt, fantastic, all the scratches on there. And look at his arm, his gauntlets here with these, obviously these big flat spikes on the side of it. They're actually quite sharp then. That's what I love this kind of mechanised stuff around his arm. Oh, like this is almost like a mech suit on, on top of the, the actual normal Batman suit, isn't it? And then he's got all this leg armour. It's obviously all scratched up still as well. Uh, and these things sticking out here to, to mimic what's on the gauntlets. Just looks absolutely amazing in these massive boots as well. It's absolutely solid, stunning figure. Uh, this is why I wanted to branch out from Star Wars because just miss out on some of these amazing products from Hot Toys. Uh, and there's the, the bottom of the cape as well. It's like proper all weathered up. Looking fantastic. It just drapes nicely that. Looks good, looks good. And here's the details under the cape. Obviously you see like this kind of spine reinforcement here in the armour. Uh, all sorts of details going on back there and the strap that goes along. Just looks phenomenal. Let me know what you think in the comments, whether you'd pick this one up, whether you've had it in the past or you've, I know there's gonna be a 2.0 version coming, but this is looking amazing, this. I wanted to get like the, 
kind of a definitive version of it so there's going to be this one there's a battle damaged one obviously as well and uh, there's the 2.0 battle damaged one 2.0 normal one so i don't know whether to just stick with this one or get the new ones as well but we'll have to see how space and, and finances go but i mean it's, it's detail on here this big strap along the front as well it's just a phenomenal figure and obviously it's got a light up function in the head and a separate face plate so let's have a look at the face plates and the light up function so we've got the neutral expression on the left unlit up we've got the neutral expression with the light up eyes in the middle that looks amazing that looking really good and then at the end we've got the angry face plate with the light up function again as well i do like actually looks really good that i was going to just show it with the without the light up but it looks too good not to have on that i've seen the batteries are going to like last about two seconds you stand guard. Oh, like I say, absolute beast of a figure. Obviously, there's no next to no articulation on it. I've just got him in a standard museum pose here, just holding that grenade launcher. The specific hands for the specific weapons, so the one with the finger kind of outstretched like that is, is specifically for the grenade launcher. I mean, I don't really pose my figures up massively anyway, but definitely can't do it with this one just because of the, the bulk of it makes it really difficult. Like you move the arm and it'll just go spring back to how it was before. So yeah, just have to just have to go with that. But I, I like the museum pose anyway, so it's all good. And you've got him holding the grapple gun and a grenade in the other hand as well. Like I say, absolutely amazing figure. I'm not very poseable, but yeah, I don't care. Just looks, you don't buy it for its posability, this one. I think you buy it just for its presence on the shelf. Look, it's going to look absolutely stunning. Swap the faceplate over, dead good mechanism to swap the faceplates over as well, dead easy. So no issues there. I think it's fantastic, this figure. Like I say, let me know in the comments what you think, whether you've picked this one up, whether you're never going to bother, or you're going to maybe get the 2.0 version. Yeah, that, that looks like it's going to be fantastic. So yeah, absolutely amazing. I love the I love the Ben Affleck Batman. It's absolutely fantastic. And this armoured version is absolutely superb. Uh, if you want to chat about this or anything else in the collection, I'll see you in the comments. Otherwise, see you in the next video. Take it easy.